Yes, my people, how are we doing this morning? And oh boy, I'm really looking forward to this one. It is the Brighton Scum away. Yes, my people are going to be going down to the Amex Stadium for only the third time and that for myself and that to be fair. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's going to be a very close competitive match today for sure. Both sides are going to be up for it massively and that. Both sides, you know, haven't been on the best of form lately. I know we won the other day against Sheffield United. They were rock bottom at the table. So you expect us to win that, even though it wasn't the best match overall rule from our performing standards and Brighton got absolutely hammered by Luton so one team is on the slide and one team in Palace is on a little tad bit of a high after winning so it's going to be an interesting game Brighton have got a lot of injuries they've got three wins in their last 16 I think we've got about the same record roughly you know I think we've got about three wins in our last like 16 or something like that it's crazy honestly you know so both sides haven't really been on the best of form over the last few months and that very inconsistent and that to be fair today is going to be a tight one I'm going to go over 2-2 two -two, but deep down I want us to win and I'm not going into this game nervous I'm not going into this game feeling like we're going to get hammered the way Brian are with the players that got injured like I said the way we've been playing attackingly you know especially with the likes of Elise and Eze linking up and when they're playing together obviously for once it's pretty good to be fair defensively I know we got problems but I think defensively if we get it spot on today and we play the way attackingly we did against Sheffield United and we put that effort and intent into today's match we'll walk away with the three points but I do think it's going to be a draw but I'm really hoping we actually go there and win for the first time in what almost three years nearly and that's since we won in lockdown so I pray to God Palace this is the day for you not to let us down one bit not to let the Palace faithful down Roy's got to get it right tactically he's got to make some good decisions you know regarding team selection Munoz I expect him to start Wharton could start because there's a rumour has it he may not start but at the same time people saying he might make it on the bench so if some buts maybe he's whatever we got to wait and see when we get down there and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it today. I cannot wait. Come on, you palace man. Stand or fall. They're the ones standing or falling right now, man. Disgraceful, disgraceful defending. Shambolic from the corner again. Could have been two, should have been maybe. Feeling the handball. We're, we're playing like crap. The embarrassment. Game's just going downhill massively for us right now, man. I think it's just gone from bad to worse. Injured gain. Yes, it's an embarrassment, man. They're up for it, we're not, as per usual. It's nothing, man. I'm just sick of it. It's gonna be, they could be like two or three right now, to be fair. We're, we're parking the bus, going backwards and sideways. It's embarrassing. There's Adam Wharton's coming off the gate and Richards playing as a centre half in his actual position for once. So, I'll take that, at least. Making a serve and a good one. Well done, man, about time.
We deserve to be relegated. We're just pathetic, bro. Useless, in it? Get Roy gone. Paris can go himself and get out of my club. You bunch of ball job. Fans fighting amongst themselves. I mean, what do you expect? What do you expect? Do you know what I mean? What do you expect? Quick thoughts, show, mate. That was a disgrace. Embarrassing, man. Shambolic. What are your thoughts, man? Your opinion. Sorry, man, but. They're disgusting. Absolutely yeah. Disgusting. There's no style of play. Yeah. It's rubbish. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. I'm, I'm just. Raised. No single last support is shit. And yeah. They suck the life out of this club. I know, I know. Paris just suck the life of this club. Yeah. It's mm. a disgrace. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I've never been so angry with this club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 0 down against Brighton. I'm not even, I, I've offended all my anger already. Like, I'm just sick of the whole thing. You can ask everyone in the palace and, and all they're going to say is Paris Arms Royale. Fan is up. Fans fighting amongst themselves. I even had a fan who had, who had the audacity to say to me, bring in who? Well, I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, do me a really favour. Exactly, that. I could do a better job than bloody Parish. Well, well, yeah, this man could do a better job. Do you know what I mean? You might as well get someone who cares, man, at this rate. It's, it's, it's a disgrace, simple as. Second half on the way. The reaction says it all, really. Whoopee! <laughs> it's just laughable and comical. It's gone to the point. I'm not even going to film this right now. At least say it's just come on and gone injured. Our season's over. He's done this. He's just been relegated already. You might as well relegate us already. And who's he going to bring on? Probably Tompkins or bloody, I don't know. God, no. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. We've got a Brian fan singing. We want you to say to Roy and telling him to give give them away. It's insulting. It's, it's like, extraordinary. It's, this is totally extraordinary. Painful, man. Painful. That's the highlight of the second half. Yeah, people are leaving. By the way, we just scored, but it don't mean anything because we'll probably still lose 4 5 1. I mean, when you got no Elite and SA, you ain't doing nothing. Credit to Matera for scoring, even though he was crap, but yeah, I'm out of here. I'm leaving a match early, basically just like 15, 20 minutes after half time. Elise say went off injured, Paul, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about it. The season's over, we're getting relegated. I'm accepting it now. Credit to the fans that travel. Roy needs to get lost, Parish could go off and um, sell up and. Yeah, I just don't even need to say, I've been saying this for the last three months, it feels like it's the beginning of the season really as well. Do you know what I mean? I just want to get out there and go home. I'm taking my time as well, I just need to take it all in because that was an absolute disgrace and they should refund the fans who came down and travelled down to Bride to spend all their hard-earned money to come down here just to watch that. A disgrace. We deserve to be relegated. Sounds like some, a team school. I don't know if it's Palace or Brian. I don't really care. Season's over. I'm out of here. Guys, of course, I left with about 25 minutes plus to go. Um, this is a little video of basically what happened afterwards when I weren't there and that. <laughs>
said, I think we're already relegated. The season's over with the likes of Gay and Elise and um, Eze out for probably over a month now. So we're, we're finished. We're finished. We get what we deserve. So I could say, you know, I'm sick of fending my anger out week in, week out. One thing I will say is I'm generally thinking of boycotting the next few Palace matches at this rate. I generally can't watch this because it's just making me down. Really just... Honestly, it's it's just sucked the life out of me, man. Uh, it's just gone downhill drastically. I'd say that. So, yeah, pray for Palace and see you later. Championship.